In this lesson, I'm going to take you through the mDaemon installation process. First, make sure your server meets the minimum mDaemon system requirements, which you can find on our website at mDaemon.com. If you go to the Products tab, you'll find the mDaemon system requirements right here under the mDaemon email server section. These are the minimum system requirements for mDaemon, and if you scroll down, we have a list of system recommendations or system requirement examples based on the number of users you have. So you can use this as a guide when considering what kind of resources you would like to make available for mDaemon. And if your server meets the minimum system requirements, then you can go back to the Products tab to download mDaemon. Select Downloads, as shown right here, and then click the Download Now button right here. mDaemon is available in several different languages, so choose your preferred language here, and then click on it, and then you can download the installer file to your desktop. And we'll save the file. Once you've downloaded the mDaemon installer file, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator, and then follow the prompts on your screen. So on the Welcome screen, we'll simply click on Next. We'll click on I Agree on the End User License Agreement screen. Verify the destination directory where you would like to install mDaemon. The default location is inside the mDaemon folder placed inside the C drive. However, you can browse to a different location if you'd like to install mDaemon in a different path or on a different drive. Then click on Next. And if you already have an mDaemon registration key, you can choose the second option here and then enter your registration key in the blank provided. Otherwise, choose the first option to install a free trial of mDaemon, at which point it will email you a trial key that you can enter into this screen. In this example, I already have a trial key, so I'm going to go ahead and enter it here, and then we'll click on Next. Click Next again, where it says Ready to Install, and at this time the installer will begin copying files over. This could take up to a couple of minutes, but it usually runs pretty quickly. Once the installation process has completed, you'll be prompted to enter your domain name. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to leave this at company.test. And then it will ask you to enter your Popper IMAP host name, which is typically mail.example.com or mail.whateveryourdomainis.com. Then we simply click on Next. And then you'll need to set up your first account, which by default will be the administrator account. So we'll enter the first and last name here. And then in the second blank, enter the mailbox portion of the username. So this is going to be the part in front of the at symbol. So for example, if my user is frank.thomas.example.com or example.test in this case, or company.test, I will enter frank.thomas in the blank provided. And then enter the password that we'd like to assign to this user. And then click on next. You can optionally leave this box checked to set mDaemon up as an automatically starting system service. Then click on Next. And then on this screen, you can optionally check this box to view the mDaemon release notes. Otherwise, simply click on Finish to finish installing mDaemon. Now, you may be prompted to restart your computer to complete the installation process. So if you are prompted, simply click on OK to restart the server. And then once you've installed mDaemon, you'll be able to open up the mDaemon configuration session which is the interface shown here, or mDaemon Remote Administration, which looks like this. Visit our website at mDaemon.com to learn more, and be sure to hit that subscribe button to be notified when new tutorial videos come out.